Hello, everybody. Here today, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, my journey as a singer, songwriter, and artist and musician, and the career path of that. I think we live in a very big digital age right now, and being able to put out music or put out something that you want to do is, is as easy. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have your own personal YouTube accounts where you're playing your ukulele or, or putting out like an acoustic cover of yourself out there, and it's easy. But then the question is, how do I do this as a career or how do I move forward? I was 19, I was still in school when my big break sort of happened, when I put out my first YouTube video and then things got a little bit viral and then a lot of stuff started, started happening for me. One of my albums actually got onto Hype Machine, which is a website that aggregates music blogs and it came out top five. So eventually, I got calls from the States and a lot of other countries that started asking, inviting me to go for festivals and so on and so forth. So in many ways, you could say I got lucky. And in many ways, a lot of other, I'm not the only one that gets these viral breaks nowadays. But to be frank, it's not enough because you could be the topic of the season for a month and then you don't know what's going to happen after that. It was a really difficult journey in many ways because I wanted to put out more records. I had to self-produce a show and I, will be, I was known for this being this indie DIY kind of method. And that was something that I take, took pride in because um, I didn't want to wait for someone to help me. I wanted to be able to do things for myself. I relocated to the States a while back and the truth was I was still schooling, although music was doing well, I was getting the right kind of publicity for it. It does not exactly pay the bills, if I were to be very frank. But why do you do music, right? I think that's a question you ask yourself. And for me, I was very happy trying to work odd jobs to the point where, okay, I'm going to relocate to the States and find opportunities there. And that, that was kind of what happened to me. And eventually I started doing tours, I played locally, did a lot of shows, meet a lot of people. And it was kind of awesome, but it wasn't easy, it really wasn't. Putting out a record is really expensive because if you don't have a label and I don't want to wait for a label to work for you, I decided to go for crowdfunding on my last record. I worked with a couple of brands and at the end of the day, we raised about $20,000 for my record and we were able to record, mix and master it with some of the greatest people in the music industry that I could think of at the time to work with. My first band at 16 was this Auburn's Epiphany. We were awful, in my honest opinion. And we literally played to nobody for the longest time. Like, no one. But the truth is, we still wanted to play music, so we just kept going. And though most of the time, there's only like one person in the crowd, which is our sound guy, I wouldn't, if we didn't keep going, I would not have had met my mentor, Leonard Suse. And he turns out to be one of the, the coolest music producers at that time and he started connecting us to more people as well. If you think about it, you do what you do because you love doing it. You don't give up and then eventually, like, there's no such thing as luck. Luck is when opportunity meets preparedness. So when you're prepared when that opportunity comes, such as this, I met my mentor Leonard to say, and that leads me to the next point. This is one of the things that I feel that is one of the more important things if you ever, if you ever want to do anything in life is you've got to find a mentor. It's good to have idols, people that you look up to, but a mentor is someone that tangibly inspires you. So the other part that eventually that I realized was such a big deal for me was my bandmates, people that along the way that I met. So when it going gets really tough, the comrades that you make, the people that are in the trenches with you, are the people that would eventually l l carry you through most of the ways. It's not about who that's going to get you there, but who do you, who do you want to get there with? At the end of the day, passion. The word passion actually comes from the Latin word passio, which means to suffer. But then again, a lot of people are vindicate themselves by how much they suffer to, to justify what they do. I suffered more than you, therefore I should do this more than you. When the truth is, someday your passion actually needs to graduate into compassion, into understanding 
how your artistry works and contributes to the context of your community. So for me, working with some of the greatest people has been an amazing luxury for me and a learning point the entire time. If you're thinking of pursuing the arts at all, I can just tell you to be prepared for a lot of uncertainty, but it is most rewarding. And the truth is the tightrope of balancing the financial and what genuinely feeds your soul. No one else can probably figure out where that sweet spot is other than you.